Y'all, I guess this gonna be an every morning thing. Y'all see that deer? Right at the back door? She hear me talking, she looking over here. I'm pretty sure she's not the only one. They got good ears, she can hear me. Good morning. Good morning, mommy. Good morning. Mommy working early this morning, y'all. Trying to get y'all a video. She trying to get y'all a video up. And I'm about to head out the door once again. I bet y'all like this man. I always on the move. Yeah. I always. Cool out here this morning. Look at Aiden. Looking sad. But yeah, finna go to work. Finna go finish this bathroom today. Yeah, every morning wake up, we got deer in the backyard. So this is our second morning waking up here. They came and did our power yesterday. Let me show y'all. They came and hooked the power up yesterday. I called them. I told them, I said, man, we've been on the list since Tuesday. They were supposed to come out and do it Tuesday. They never came. So I called them yesterday, and the guy was like, man, we got crews working in the area close to Pope. So we're going to try our best to get to y'all. We're going to squeeze y'all in between jobs or whatever or once they get everybody back up and going from the storm damages. So yesterday evening, probably around about Maybe around about two or three something. I see an energy truck past the church when I was up there painting. So they passed the church. I called Cam. I said, babe. I was like, just seeing an energy truck. She was so excited, y'all. So, yeah. They got to bring us a new street light out there when they working. But, yeah, we super excited. Man, so pretty. I hear birds singing. Squirrels running around. Deer walking in the backyard. I got some cleaning up to do out here, man. <clears throat> I really do. Got trees to cut and everything. But yeah, I finna get in this truck. Get ready to head to work. I'll be finished today. Hey. Bad boy warm up. Y'all hear them pipes. Y'all see how green everything they got. Y'all see how them flowers over there. Well, Y'all probably can't see them too good. Thing about opening all this up, making it a yard, then most of this over here. But yeah, we got some cleanup to do around here. Gotta get my dogs and move them over here. Think about still putting them back here. I think that'll be a good idea. Man, it's so peaceful and quiet out here. Nothing but nature.
come back today. Once me and Cam get finished moving some more of the stuff, throw out some grass seeds or whatever. That way we can get a, a root base going, keep everything from trying to wash out. But it ain't, it ain't bad. It ain't washing bad. It, uh... But yeah, I'm gonna get back with y'all. So y'all stay tuned. Dusty. Just a bit of paint, trim, just sand it. That's why that dust came from. Here y'all go. Here y'all go. The homeowner said he gonna do the trim and everything. I got trim around the door. Trim on the floor. That's it. That's all they wanted me to do. So I'm done over here. What's up, y'all? Couldn't sneak up on my brother. He up there cooking today. Fixing the patch. Yeah, I see you. Look for work. Old yeah. family work. Oh, that's right, baby. Oh, that's What's going on now? Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm sorry. Y'all gonna be on YouTube. Hi. Hey, Black 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 What's up, y'all? I done made it home. I want to see my brother at the vendor's market. He done sold out all the turkey legs he had. He had turkey legs and turkey wing flats. So yeah, I done made it home. Now he talking about going fishing this evening. So me and Cam got a couple of things to move. And once we do that, me and my brother, we're going to go fishing. So I get a little fishing clip for y'all. But if y'all want to see the whole fishing thing, you might have to go to my channel, Bottom Racks Outdoors, to see everything. So now me and Cam finna move a couple of things, go to the other house. I know we're gonna grab the washing the dryer and some other stuff. But yeah. I know y'all probably wonder what I keep looking at. Come hey. Yeah, look at the lemonade I got. Whew, natural lemonade, good. What up, A? Hey? Mm. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Miss, who's it back? Who's it back? Daddy home, so my mom and Aiden's video. Say hey. Hello. Hello. So my daddy home, so he moved some more stuff. Y'all, look at this fearful view. It's so fearful out here. Time to do some moving, y'all. Yep. You ready, eh? Yeah. What we going? To, what we going to get, mommy? Yeah. What we going to get? The washer and dryer. I gotta take all this stuff off the back of my truck before we leave. Yeah, I can't even help me move this stuff real quick. Yeah. I really don't want to. It's hot today. I feel good. So hot, my hair done shot up on my head. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, we finna move this stuff out of my truck so we can go get the washer and dryer and some more stuff. Got a lot of spider webs on your truck. It's hot. 
do with it? Spiders like heat. Oh. Yep. So y'all yeah. stay tuned. We'll be back. So we back. We got the washer on the truck, the dryer, the deep freezer. I already took the dryer in the house. We got a couple more things. So the only thing we really got left is the um dressers. Look at A trying to figure the grass seeder out. If he wants to do it, so I'm letting him do it. But I think I missed my chance because the rain is, is gone. I don't think it's supposed to rain again for a minute. I but hopefully I can one. catch it. I just don't know. Uh, I don't want to waste the seeds. It ain't wet enough. It's not wet enough. Mm -mm. Let me see it. So I got this little cedar hand spreader. So it'll work. I had planted, planted stuff with it before. Yeah, I'm just sitting out here waiting on my brother. He gonna help me get this washer and this deep freeze off. The crazy thing about it, let me tell you how God worked. The power went out at the other house. Took me a while for it to turn it back on. And me and Cam were thinking all our deer meat was spoiled. But we just went to the house and I opened the freezer and the deer meat was still cold. Some of it still had ice on it. So, ain't nobody but God. Cause I sure didn't want to waste that meat. Spent too much money on it. Yeah. And even though we down here with the deer, you can't kill them out of season or harvest them out of season for some people. I don't want to say kill. Yeah. So we just wait on my brother to come. Help me take this in the house. And me and Cam are going to run back over there and pick up another load and come back. Yep. Help has arrived. Who are that, A? Uncle That's your favorite uncle. Yeah. <laughs> that joke is smart. Oh, right. ain't, you ain't got no favor. They about the same. Yeah. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. Don't have no favors. You know. Good morning, y'all. So, I'm going to fell down the steps. I went outside to do something. I slipped, tripped. Oh, how'd that happen? What if I cook a little broccoli? Got some pancakes and some turkey sausage. Oh, yeah. Cook a little breakfast. First time cooking breakfast in the new crib. And I think we're eating in the tuna. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. Can't wait to go to church and get out and enjoy the day. I know y'all hear Aiden back there. Keeping the body in love. You never seen no child like Aiden wake up loud, cracking jokes on people. I don't know where you get that from. I know Cam's gonna save me. So I hope y'all have a blessed and happy Sunday today. I'm finna cook this breakfast, go to church, get out of church, move some more stuff. That's it. We ate breakfast, we're ready for church. Waiting on Cam. I go on TT. You going on TT? Mm, TT going to another church today. Why are you looking like that? Oh, I just go, Grandma. You already gonna go, Grandma? You mad? Ain't mad, y'all. He can't go hit TT. TT gone to another church. Mm. Yeah, he always think he can go with TT every Sunday. Can't do it. Can't do it. We are headed to church. Take your burdens to the Lord. 
law. Yeah. Uh, the, the one who has yeah. done everything for you. Yeah. Take it to him. Yeah. He won't tell nobody. Yeah. We all got burdens to bear. Yeah. But Jesus said, I'll be the burden of battle. As well as the regular old carrier. Yeah. The same one that hung there and died for your sin. Yeah. He's able to take. Yeah. Yeah. It's all but fair. Yeah. Take the burden to the Lord. Yeah. Don't take them to your friend. We back home. I don't think I ain't want to be home. I am so pretty outside today. Once again, clear blue skies. Birds are singing. Y'all look at our little country baby. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I need to go to McDonald's. Y'all here? Hey, y'all need to go to McDonald's get y'all a book. Come on, mama. Sorry. Honey, we're home. Jerry's about to have us in the woods putting out some deer food. Ignore all that on the bed. It's laundry. I need to put it up. Mm -hmm. oh, you don't got to get right tonight. Someone do their makeup. Oh, whatever. No, I'm sweating. I'm hot. My makeup's running. Somebody's had me moving heavy dressers. She said she wanted her stuff here. So. I did. I did. So I was going to help. So now I gotta find my boots so we can go trekking through the woods to feed the deer. So I have a, a sweet lick rack deer block. It's apple flavor. It's a mineral block. You can feed it to them all year round, spring, summer, winter, fall. That way they'll keep on coming to that area and you can bury it in the ground, but you gotta have like loose soil on top of it. That way it's like a natural mineral to the deer. Most deer, after like the rut and the season end and stuff, they be pressured. So maybe want to get that mineral and iron and all this stuff back up for the up, you know, breeding season and stuff. So I got this. I'm gonna put it out. I'm gonna put it back here in the back of the house. That way we can wake up in the morning and just look out the window and see them licking on it. It might take them a couple of days to find it. Some deer find stuff pretty quick if they have a travel corridor that they do all the time. They'll find it pretty quick. So I'm gonna put it back here behind the house just a little ways, but we'll still be able to look out there and see. And I also have some deer corn that I put out in like the fall of the year and things like that. Or I could put it out now if I want to. But I might, I might not. I don't know. I'm not deciding yet. So, but y'all see the other bag. I'm going to use that to put in the yard. That uh, It's called Dixie Mix. This bag right here, it's Dixie Mix. It has ryegrass in it, weeks, oats. I'm going to sprinkle it out through the yard just so we can get a root base. To hold the soil so it won't have erosion and wash away every time it rains. So I'm gonna do that. I'll make a video on it whenever I do it.
Yeah. Right here. That's why you see me looking at the one down the tank. I'll be staring at these trees right here. Oh, you want to open it up? Coming all the way across. Then go that back that way. Come down, open up. So, there's the house in, to, in relation to this. So, he wants to open all this up and we'll have this as a backyard. Nice soil out here. I don't see the worms. Mm -hmm. We should saw a frog. Over there? Yep. They're going to eat on it for all year long. You know, I got two of them. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to put the other one? Oh, no. Tell y'all something. If y'all ain't got one of these, get one. That's how I dug that trench so quick. <laughs> it's a root shredder. So you stick it in the ground, see these little teeth? Then this point right here, you can actually sharpen this. And it'll cut right through the roots. But you can hear it when you jump on it. It'll cut right through them. Oh, Work smart, not hard. <laughs> wow, y'all see that? Look at that good soil. And then when it rains, it'll melt it. So it's like it'll spread. If I ain't careful and come out here and check on it, they'll be done dug a hole. The once deer? It, once it's gone, they'll, they'll be attracted to it so much, it'll be like a hole. So. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you covering it up? Yeah. They gonna find it? Yeah. So when it get wet, it's gonna cover the that dirt and that's what they gonna lick. Yep. Oh. Did not know that. I just thought you said it on top of the ground. You can't. Yeah, it's more, it'll be more like natural to them. They were going to be like, man, they'd be like a hermit sit that out. Oh. You're smart. Huh? Cover it up like that. So y'all hunters, if y'all hunt, sweeten it. So y'all can look on here and see the ingredients in it. It'll tell you everything that's in it. Y'all can pause the video, take time to read it. If you want to go out, purchase some, or you can order it. I'm not sure if the website's on here, but you can go to, um, what is it? Yeah. Sweetlicks.com. I don't want to focus, but... They can come. There you go. They can see it. So this video is not sponsored by Sweet Lick. But hey, never know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Always going through there. It wash down off this hill, off this hill, and then it cut like through there. So I'm gonna have to put a French drain in one day. Y'all know what a French drain is? I don't. So when the water come down, if I put a retaining wall right there, it'll stop the water from going. So the French drain, it'll sit right there by the wall, or I can put it up in here somewhere and it carry the pipe all the way out, but there'll be a long trench. Carry the pipe all the way out across the driveway. That way the water will run underground instead of on top of the ground washing oh. it away. 
That's what you call a French drain. That's smart. You full of interest in nuggets. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. <laughs> Washes come out of some. You know, mama gonna get ate up again. One time, how old was Aiden? Two? Aiden was about two, one two. Yeah, he was like two years old. We had just moved back here and we were staying with my brother. I went to take the trash out, I think. Yeah, I went to take the trash out and Aiden locked me out of the house. And my brother has an older single wide. I couldn't figure out how to get in the house. So I took the air conditioner out of the window in the room that we were staying in and i didn't know that yellow jackets were like they had made a nest up in the trailer by the tongue of the trailer y'all worst day of my life i felt like i was in a movie uh what's that movie my my girl where the oh, little yo, boy got ate up by the bees yes i felt like that y'all they attacked me i got stung all of my back my arms my legs everywhere and so i went in mama bear mode i didn't even care that i was getting hurt i was just worried about aiden y'all i threw the air conditioner down i jumped through the window me and him just ran we ran for dear life and when dre got home <laughs> look when i got home they were sitting in the middle of the bed both of them her and cam had stingers in her shoulder head so i grew up around old people i got some honey and put it on the stinger did it help yeah yeah so the honey it'll it'll draw the pain away it'll make the pain go away especially if it's natural local honey same way with allergies you take honey like during the spring it'll get you right yeah, I had to get my babies right, man. Oh, that was the worst experience of my life. I'm still traumatized. I was just fighting the walls because I was so scared a few minutes ago. I don't ever want to go through that. It felt like needles when the stingers were coming out because it took weeks for them all to come out of me. Yeah. And it just felt like needles every time. I could feel them moving. Yeah. That was the worst experience ever. Aiden. And out of all the stings that I got, Aiden only got one in the top of his head. I took the brunt of it, but I could not let him get stung. I'll never do that again. I always, if I leave out of the house now, I take a key with me because I know he's smarter than I think he is. I don't know what that is. Hey, y'all, I'll do these woods. Come on. Y'all, this is fun. We're on our little nature walk. <laughs> Hopefully, nobody gets poison ivy. We just saw some. Take this tree out. What this tall one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what they call a bean tree. In like Something the, like what? In the hunting world. Huh? Something like what? A rabbit can be laying in there, a raccoon. A raccoon can climb up in there, lay in there. Rabbit. You stick your phone up in there and look up in there. Another 
They just picked that old line up and spliced it back together. That's what them. Um, you see them things right there? Yeah. Them splicing. If they really wanted to, they could have put up another pole and made it a little higher in the air. You see, you know that line was laying across mm -hmm. there, up under there? I guarantee you, they uh, put it up under the tree. Because it was just laying down there. So, I know they cut it hey, right there. Me. And right there, they just spliced them together. What's that? I hope they know all these stuff. y'all enjoy my little educational video. <laughs> Look at this. Look at you, y'all. I don't know if y'all even see that. Y'all, this shovel, I've never seen anything like it. Bro, we can do it together, bro. We can do it together. Well, I can do it too crap, y'all. My dad went and do it. Hello, y'all. Y'all better get y'all one. Y'all get something in the country. Hmm? Let's hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Go in the country with us. Go to the country with us. I mean, they're watching our videos, so it's like they're in the country with us. A lot of people say that. Yeah, we just peeling around. Yep. We got all the heavy stuff moved finally. We just have, you know, small stuff that we need to go back yeah. and get. Let me tell y'all about Cam. <gasps> Cam's on <something> serious. <laughs> I, ain't, I had to call my brother one time. And I did want him to call him because I was going to help him. My baby helped me move washer, dryer, defreeze. Yep. I didn't want her going up and down those steps because they, they sturdy, but they not. I don't know. But the washer and dryer, I helped him get it out of the old house onto the truck. And Corey came and helped him get it into the house. But I would have helped. Well, I helped him do the dryer. And Corey helped him with the washer and the defreezer. Now, once Dre gets started, he don't know how to stop. We'll probably be rootless in less than 30 minutes. <laughs> Aiden said this looks like a phone. It does. It looks like an uh, old school phone. Now throw it. Nope. Yeah, that way. Throw it that way. Can I throw it harder? Yep, throw it hard. Y'all know real white people. Can't sing that either. They know the song. Y'all sing it. They'll sing it for you in the comments. And I'll tell you about it, okay? Okay. Did they send you? We haven't posted the video <laughs> yet. <laughs> when we post the video, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of people saying, singing a song with you. Y'all sing We Will Rock You in the comments for Aiden. And Go Butters too. Hmm? Y'all know Go Butters? I'm sure they do. We all grew up with Ghostbusters. Y'all, Aiden likes all of the old cartoons that we used to watch as a kid. Oh, no. I, I feel like he has an old soul. He likes all the old stuff. Hey, Where's my trees to come in? Y'all, <laughs> right before we moved, Jay joined the, what is it, Arbor Day, Arbor Day Foundation? Foundation? And they're sending him some trees. Ten free trees. Yeah, he's such a, what is it, naturist? I don't even know what to call you. Yeah, he joined the Arbor Day Foundation. <laughs> I think I'm fixing to leave these two outside. I'm going to go in the house and clean up. <laughs> Good morning on this beautiful Monday morning. Pretty day. I'd rather be fishing or doing something in nature. So we're going back to the old house today, get the rest of the stuff, bring it over here. And we'll be done with moving all the stuff. Then I go back and get the dogs, bring them over here and get them situated. I know I told y'all in the clip Saturday after I left the vendor's market where my brother was, we were going fishing. 
but both of us was tired. We didn't even go. So hopefully I go one day this week, get some footage for y'all. Should be pretty cool. I hope y'all having a good Monday morning. Hope ain't none of y'all got the Monday blues. Because it will get you. You just don't feel like doing nothing on Monday after a good, pretty weekend. Being outside all weekend. Having fun with family. You just don't want to do nothing. They need to start having three-day weekend. Including Monday. It'll be ideal. We're finna get around here and get ready. Go here to the house and get what we can get. We should be done sometime today. And we will just have the rest of the day to come back home, unpack everything, try to put everything up, see what we can get it. We're going to have to get a, a little storage building before long. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Y'all stay tuned. Getting our shade, if you can kind of see it in the background, we got it from a Magnolia Shade Company. So if you're in our area and you're looking for a shade, he said that they deliver the sheds within a 50 mile radius. Anything, he said they can go over 50 miles, but it'll be like $5 per mile after that. Yeah, up to 100 miles. Then they got a car porch deal, which you get the car porch in the country. He said they deliver anywhere outside of Mississippi yeah. to the surrounding states. Yeah. So yeah, y'all might want to look into it if y'all looking for a car porch or a shed. Yeah. Magnolia Shed Company. They have a Facebook. I'm going to find it and link it in the description box. But they were really nice. It was a simple process. You could come in or you can do it over the phone. It was real simple. But yeah, we got a shed. And we definitely need it because we have way more stuff than we thought. Damn. Um, so yeah. We were moving some stuff this morning. Dre's brother, Corey, came over and his parents came over. And they were like, did y'all realize y'all have this much stuff? We were like, yeah. I knew we had a lot of stuff, but I didn't know it was that much. Yeah. So we get the shed. I'm going to build some shelves to go in and everything. So. Who we went with the, what, 10 by 12? 10 by 12. It has double, double doors. doors. and a window. Yeah, and a window. So it should be enough to keep the stuff that we're trying to keep in there. Um nothing too major because Dre is going to get a shop one day but not right now so this was a solution for us for right now but yeah now we're fixing to go and get something to eat and then we have one more trip and I think we'll be done getting all the stuff yeah well Dre has to get his outside stuff I don't know if he can get it this trip but we'll get it even further get that tomorrow yeah. So we are at the other house getting the last little bit of stuff. Books are in that tote. Some speaker equipment. Let me use this cover right here for the TVs. Yeah. All the TVs. One over there. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. You me? Oh my gosh. Daddy gave Aiden a tool, so he's so excited, y'all. He's building up his little tool kit. Yeah, this. He got an egg from the store. It has a little monkey on the inside. It pink and blue. Yeah, it's pink and blue. Good job. But yeah, guys. Um, all the other rooms are empty. We just have a little bit of stuff left in the living room. Um, and we'll be doing it over here. Drake still has to get his outside stuff. Hey. He's done. <laughs> We are almost done. We brought the car so we could put the TVs in the car um, so they wouldn't get broken. We've had experience where we broke a TV during a movie and we don't want to experience that anymore. So 
Good morning, YouTube family. So we ain't do much recording yesterday. We were real busy. Man, we wore out last night. But I did get the mailbox post built and the mailbox put up. Y'all probably can see it. Let me see. Yep, there you go. I'll get a close-up picture of it later on. But yeah, we were real busy yesterday. Well, I know I was. Cam was too. She was putting stuff up. And I also came out and put some grass seeds down to catch the rain. So y'all can see it. So I'm gonna have to put some more down. But hopefully they'll start to sprout. I'm gonna do a uh, quick seed too. I'm gonna record the video and let y'all see what it looked like. But also, man, we woke up this morning, everything was so green. Rabbits in the yard, squirrels in the yard. Hope they don't eat all my seed. But everything was just green. It's a pretty morning, though. Got some rain last night. Yeah, I see this tree. I thought this tree was dead. But come to find out, leaves coming on it. Also, this tree right here. That one, that big tree right there that looked dead, it ain't dead. That's a Catawba tree. I don't know if y'all heard of like the Catawba worms. They like black and yellow. We used to go fishing with them, catch catfish. My dad told me they used to fish with them too and catch all kind of fish. But yeah. So I came over to the house to get my um, tall ladder so I can go to the church. I didn't go yesterday. Look what I see walking around. Old tablet. Yeah, you looking at it. I ain't seen one of those in so long. Look like he been sitting in the mud somewhere. Don't let him go on about his business. I'm gonna get this ladder right here. Fiberglass peeling on it, but I got some clear coat that you can spray on it. I just got this from Dollar General. I'm gonna spray this clear coat on it so this fiberglass won't get all off in me. Go down here and finish painting the outside of the church and everything before this rain come in. So I'll get back with y'all later. Oh my gosh, y'all. I have been cleaning and organizing stuff all day. Um, I haven't filmed because I'm waiting on an important phone call. So I'm leaving my phone in an area where I know it'll get service. I need to wash my hair. I have so much I have to do, but slowly but surely, room by room, I'm getting everything organized and put away and unpacked, all of that good stuff. And I'm also like sweeping and mopping as I go. I want to um, be able to film it, but that's just not possible. So I just wanted to pop in really quick, give you guys an update on what I'm doing today. Um, I may do like a full tour later. We'll just see how that goes. But until then, see you later. Hey y'all, I need to say DVDs. He's trying to say DVDs. <laughs> yeah, I was wrong. What do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> I know they have, I think they like by the toy aisle or something. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to say DVD. It should be with the hair stuff. Aisha, good morning, y'all. Good morning. So, y'all, I got ADDs. He finally got some DVDs, y'all. Finally got Ace some DVDs. Went to Dollar Drilling yesterday. Him and Cam's favorite store. He picked out some DVDs. I think he got Ghostbusters and some other DVD with cartoons on. But he woke up early this morning watching Ghostbusters. So, we really don't have anything planned today. I'm going to go back out to the church later on and do some more painting outside once the sun come back out, if it comes back out. But if not, I don't think it's supposed to rain anymore today. But I'm going to do that. And also, I have to go pick up some couches that Cam picked out yesterday. I got a surprise for y'all this evening. Yep. I got a surprise for y'all. I'll tell y'all the story behind it once I pick it up. That was amazing how God works. So it's kind of emotional. Might be emotional to some people, but it's still pretty cool. 
So I'll see y'all later on this evening. We're headed to get our furniture. Super excited about that. I finally got Dre to sit down long enough to go look at some. And uh, pretty much the first uh, couch set we looked at, we liked. So that was a good thing. So we're just headed to pick it up. Um, where we live, we don't feel like the delivery people get lost. And they can't deliver until Thursday between 11 and four or eleven and two something that lady said so we're like we'll just come back tomorrow and get it so she said it's 9 55 she said that the guys get there at 10 to help uh dre load it onto the truck and after that they go out for delivery so she just wanted to make sure someone was there to help us load it so that's what we're doing this morning and i don't know what we're gonna do after that I'd stop and get a tarp or something. Where are those? Dollar General. Dollar General has tarps. Dollar General got a lot of stuff people don't know about. Wow. Well, the chain popped off. We're out here clearing off the area for our shed. So we're just cleaning off this area for the dogs. Dre's cut down a lot of trees over here and he cut them down and I drug them off. Um, and now he's just cleaning up this underbrush and we'll be ready for them. Um, me and Aiden are standing back because it's a lot of mosquitoes got stirred up over there. We have bug spray, but I don't know. They're uh very resistant to it let's just say that <laughs> yeah look at that butterfly hey don't want to show y'all the butterfly i don't know if y'all can see it can i go catch her mm -hmm. i doubt if he can catch her huh? and he's getting itchy we might have to go in the house and take a bath but he's been playing in the mud the dirt he's very dirty yeah y'all me and Aiden are taking a break Dre is over there spraying uh the underbrush with some weed killer or some type of killer. I don't know. Here comes Dre, y'all. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Daddy look tired. I think we're all tired. Yeah, I'm ready to take I'm my spray bath. What kind of spray you spray? Huh? What kind of spray? I gotta look and see. That's the uh, weed killer, but this right here is called bathing uh, bug spray. It's good for the outside of your house and the inside of the house. It lasts on the outside for up to six months, also on the inside for up to six months. So it works pretty good. Any bugs that come across it, they're going to die. Yeah. They're going to die. It like paralyzes them. Watch it. It ain't going to take long for them. So I already sprayed the whole perimeter on the outside of the house. Up at the top where I see a wasp. Uh oh. I ain't gonna be able to reach it. And they, the wasps have been looking for a way in to make nests and stuff. But Dre's gonna spray. They're right there. They're right there. Um. Yeah. If y'all can see, we got our a window unit, and it feels just like central air. But uh, Dre called the HVAC people who are supposed to come out, and they said that they'll either come tomorrow or Friday. 
So uh, I think they're going to come tomorrow just to see how wet it is. And if they can go ahead and do it, they'll do it. But if not, they're going to let it dry a little bit more and come back Friday. Because it's not supposed to rain again until like Saturday or Sunday. So yeah, we've been enjoying our little window unit. It works very well. The whole house is cool. Um, yeah, I over here. Yeah, we, we brought it from the other house. So we we haven't been struggling with the heat. Y'all see that caterpillar right there? Where's the caterpillar? Right there. Oh, I don't know if they can see Where? that. Where? On your, um, oh, right your there. thing. Yep. Y'all see that caterpillar? Don't touch it. Yeah, I and mean, you might touch it. Don't touch it. I don't know where near. I don't see it because I can't see my phone. So I don't know if you can see it or not. Finally got Dre to sit down. Take a break. Yeah. Good break. <laughs> I got my whole film. I'm, I'm scanning, yeah. trying to see what else I can do. I need I to get some bar oil for my chainsaw. Family. Yeah, look at this. I got it from the gas station. Yeah, but we got some work to do around here. Yeah. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna take long. I'm gonna try to clean my everything up back family. here first before I build my, my porch and my deck. With the front should be straight. Like I said, I put them grass seeds out yesterday. Hopefully they'll take root soon. Once that sun hit them and they pop open. I'm gonna go buy me some bags so I can do that <gasps> quick What's seed. That? I'm gonna do that quick seed for y'all. Yeah. Let y'all see how it's done. I got my whole family, y'all. Yeah, they seem like their whole family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they seem like their whole family. You got dirt on your forehead. I dirt everywhere. Everybody just going to have to take a bath. Yep. We need some better bug spray. It was not working. Oh, that's why in the uh, summertime, that's why I bathe in uh, Irish, Irish Spring. Spring. Keeps the bugs away. I learned that when I was in the National Guard. My drill sergeant told me, he's man, get you some Irish Spring. He said, you'll thank me later. <laughs> You don't get none of this soap that smell good. And see, Cam got on some perfume. And I'm getting tore up. Bugs like sweet smell. <laughs> yep. They think it's a flower. I'm getting tore up. But yeah, they only flew around my ear a couple of times. But after that, I was straight. Y'all ain't been waiting on this. Look at it. My daddy told him, tell your dad bring up one down ride around on track. But he liked it. We came up here up the hill to get my trees from the Arbor Day Foundation. They finally came. I opened them up and let y'all know what's in them later on. Mm -hmm. Y'all, y'all got me a fly on this. So guys, we are finally back home. Um, we had to go and pick up some stuff and get some stuff to cook. I'm inside drinking and Aiden are outside. I'm about to make some chicken fried rice. And I think Dre is outside filming. Yeah, him and Aiden are outside filming. Let me hang these keys up. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the furniture that we got. So just give me one second. So this is the couch set that we got. Ignore the dirty floors. I have to sweep and mop. It rains. So it's a little 
dusty in here. But yeah, isn't it cute? And it kind of goes with that decor. Um, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't sure about these, but once Dre did it, I was like, oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna let it stay. Ignore <laughs> the decorations. We're just kind of fiddling with it. And I've decorated um, these because I needed to unpack a, a box of decor. And so I just kind of uh, put things in them. This is from the other house. But when I buy new items, I might switch some stuff out. But yeah, that's what it looks like for now. Uh, we haven't been decor shopping yet. So um, that's just how that looks. And this is what I did to the table. Um, as y'all can see, farmhouse style is my aesthetic. So that's just kind of what it looks like. Mine is Aiden's book. Um, I don't really decorate anything else. I'm still getting to certain boxes, so we're slow, slowly but surely getting there. I'm gonna put this right here up there, and um, I don't know. We'll just keep playing with the decor. I know how I want to decorate this, but we have to go out and buy the stuff. So I'm looking for certain pieces. And so when I find them, you guys will see when I put them in. I'm about to get dinner started. And um, when Dre and Aiden come in, they can eat or whatever. Um, they'll probably be outside until it gets dark. But yeah, catch you guys later. What's up, y'all? So, you know, earlier I told y'all. I had something to show y'all, and it might be a little emotional, so I got a story to tell y'all. But first, let me show y'all what it is. So y'all see the dog box? Let me tell y'all a story behind it. So, me and my cousin, we were sitting outside talking one night. And, um, because I had told him I'd come over there and talk to him, because I had coon dogs. He had coon dogs. He had been hunting for years. So we were sitting there talking. And he had wrecked his truck. So we were sitting outside talking. And he was like, huh? He said, uh, you got a truck, don't you? I said, yeah. He said, why don't you come pick up my dog box and you can use it until I get my truck out the shop? I'm like, okay. So, because he was like, we're going to go hunting. Coon season down here starts July the 1st. So he said, we're going to go hunting. And you can just pick up my box that way it already be in the back of your truck. He said, that way I ain't got to load and unload nothing. At the truck when you come over here. So I'm like, okay, cool, cool. That's fine. So long story short, he ended up passing. We never got to go coon hunting. I ended up getting rid of my dogs. Cause you know, I was excited and ready to go, but at the same time, it kind of did something to me. So just the other night, I was sitting on the bed. You know, we moved down here in the trailer and we really don't have good phone service, but I ended up getting an inbox. And uh, it was his wife, and she was like, Dre, she said, if you still interested in this box, she said, you just come get it or whatever. So I'm like, okay. And, you know, this is how I know God works in mysterious ways. I was just telling my wife, I said, I'm going to give me a dog box. Because, you know, I want to go coon hunt, but I don't have a dog box. So this one just happens to fall in my lap. Yeah, it's a little dirty, but at the same time, I can, you know, clean it up. Pressure wash it, spray it out and everything. Might take about a car wash and do that. I don't know yet. But yeah, it's a pretty decent dog box. So I just want to thank God for that dog box. And tell my cousin thank you too, because I know it wasn't nobody but him. So that's the video, and that's what I had to show y'all. So y'all comment down below. Let me know if something like that ever happened to y'all. And I would greatly appreciate it. See ya. Y'all, we're getting our shed today. Joe had to come home and help with the blocks. But yeah, we're getting it delivered today. And he said he can put it in the spot that we requested, so we're all good to go. Aiden's right here.
Yeah, J been on it. He been hey. making sure we have everything we need. I need to move my stuff. AC folks hope you come. Yup. You don't know what side they gonna put it on. Y'all, we got the AC guy coming today. We have a lot going on today at this house. But we are so happy to finally get AC. We got our shed. So I guess um, whenever he leaves, me and A gonna start putting stuff in there. So it can we can make it easier on Dre. He, he's had a busy, busy day today. And he just came back home to, uh, to help. Uh, with the blocks and everything because I was not going to be able to get y'all see that those blocks that Dre has on, on his hey, I was not going to be able to do it I'm not taking the shirt but hurry up why he wants you to be at home hey man I got a busy day that's why I just told him Y'all, if Aiden had it his way, his dad would be at home 24 7 playing with him. <laughs> what do you think, Aiden? You like our new shade? Yeah. I like it too. I think it's cute. Yeah. I want to be black. So, if y'all are looking for um, a shed and you're in the North Mississippi area, well, the Panola County area, um, check out Magnolia Shed Company. They're really good. Fast delivery. We just went and um, bought it Monday. And today is Thursday. And they brought it. So, yeah. Go check them out. Monday afternoon, actually, we bought it. And they're already delivering it. I remember we had got a shed before. Y'all, it took months. Months. When I tell you months, it took months. Granted, it was during COVID. But, um, yeah. It was a different company, but it took months for us to get it. But this one, only a few days. So now we we put the stuff that we couldn't bring inside under the trailer. So we're going to have to get that out and put it into the shed. And um, after we get our AC, we should be getting our underpinning. So that'll be the last thing we need to get. Ah. <laughs> Bro, you scared us. Bro, you scared us. Stop coughing. We got the AC folks today. Yep. Shit. That's what I was just telling. We got a busy day today. Internet folks tomorrow. Oh yeah, we're getting internet tomorrow. Yeah. We need this though. Yep. We definitely need this. So now me and Aiden, I was inside editing because I'm trying to get this video up faster. And so now we got something else to do. Put stuff in the shade. Well here, Aiden, kill them. Aiden's over here killing flies, y'all. <laughs> well, more like the flies are getting him, getting the best of him. It look, it's gonna look good right there. I think we picked a good spot. I'm kind of glad we were able to get out here yesterday to clean this up because we were supposed to get a two day notice before they came, but we didn't get that. We got like maybe a 30 minute notice so i'm glad we had went ahead and did it yesterday here we go guys yes this is the shed i could have built it but we didn't have time yeah dre could have but we didn't have time for this so we're gonna do some storage shelves in here i like that it has a window for you know ventilation yeah, ventilation on top. Yeah, it has been ventilation on top. Maybe we'll build the next one. Maybe we'll build my um my she shed. But this one we needed to buy because we needed the ASAP. That'll be the boy shed. Yeah, this gonna be the boy shed. Yeah. Okay. That will be the girl shit. All right, all this stuff. Yeah, we're going to get a girl shit, too. You hear somebody? Y'all, Dre got really good hearing him and Aiden. So, somebody. Y'all, yeah, back to back deliveries. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> 
What's going on with you? Yeah, I knew the character. So that's our AC unit on the truck. I don't know if y'all can hear the smoke of what's going on, but they turned the heat on for the first time. Joe Perry Dre said something has to burn off. So the smoke detectors are coming off. Yeah, yeah. I was a little alarmed, but apparently that's normal. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if y'all can even see him, but there's a girl working on the unit right there. The so we're just kind of staying out here in the sheds, the other way. Um, me and Jordan were just sitting there and talking and letting them work. Then he came out and asked if we had turned the heat on. I didn't know we could turn the heat on without that. I guess you can, but um, so they turned it on for the first time and it, it set off all the smoke detectors. Yeah, y'all. Y'all, but I just feel like throughout this journey, everything has just been moving very quickly, you know? We say we want something, and the next day we literally get it. So we're so blessed. Mommy and Aiden. Yeah, mommy and Aiden. <laughs> Drake couldn't make snacking on something. What? You must open the door to the light. What he was saying to you? Well, I want to have. I ain't about to turn it down thermostat to a bit of thermostat. What he said? I'm going to turn the two burger off at the top. You make sure I get a one and one. One heat, one cool. All right, y'all. They're done. We officially have AC. The house cooled off so quickly. They did a really good job. A good job. They were clean. They left this box here. And told us we could burn it. Everything was just trash, and that's cool. We'll burn it. All is well in our world because we have air. We got everything very quickly. We're so pleased, and you know, just really happy and feel very blessed. So I'm just sitting outside, letting Aiden play. You can see I have my laptop, and my headphones. I'm editing some videos. Dre went to go. Um, Run a couple of errands and look at a house. Um, he has to, somebody else wants him to do some work. Every time he says he's gonna slow up on doing side work, <laughs> God sends him somebody else. So I think that's God's way of saying, um, you know, the things that, I, the talents I blessed you with, I want you to continue to use them. So I am home alone, you guys. I am enjoying my alone time. Dre's parents came over early and decided to go with them. So I have been kid free for like an hour or two now. And Dre came home, I helped him with the dogs and then he, he went with his dad to go look at a house or something. I'm not sure if Aiden went with them. He may be still with his grandma. <laughs> it was so funny. Before they could even get out of the door, Aiden him ran and grabbed his boots. He was like, I'm coming, I'm coming with you. Let me go get my boots. I'm pretty sure he was trying to get in grandma's um, snack cabinet. Well, she calls it a yum yum cabinet. I'm pretty sure that's why he wanted to go because grandma always has good snacks. So he likes going over there. But yeah, I'm um, making dinner. I'm just waiting for them to get home. I think I'm gonna eat before they get home because I'm so hungry. I have not eaten anything all day and I don't know when they're gonna come back. So um, I asked Dre if he could go to the post office for him because I forgot there was a package there. I completely forgot about it. I, all these people coming by today, you know, that we got the air, we got the shed. Um, Jerry's parents came over. I completely forgot that I had packages being delivered today. So hopefully he'll go by and get that. If not, I will get it in the morning. But yeah, that's just my day right now. Just by myself and I'm loving it. What do you do subscribers? So this is the end of our weekly vlog. Me and Aiden out here sitting outside. Yeah. I don't know, like he got little tears on him. But yeah. <laughs> This is the end of our video. Hope y'all like it. Don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. And ring the notification bell. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. But the ones that are subscribed, we hope y'all enjoy it and continue to follow us. So y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Peace. Bye, bye, bye.